Hi everyone, in this lecture we will be talking about CSS margins. Now before diving into this lecture I have to show you the box model. So we will be working with the box model so I'm going to grab this section. There we go, here is our box model. I'm going to bring it up, I'm going to zoom it in so we understand what margins are. So margins are the space around any element which are beyond the borders. So inside the borders, we have padding. Beyond the borders, we have margins. There we go. So the content, we have section H1 and P, uh, paragraph element, which we have been talking about a lot. So let's create our section. Let's select it. Now, we do have margins for every specific site. So margin top. This is going to specify the top distance. So if I provide it 15 pixels, uh, let's save that. Hmm. Is it connected? Oh, that is the mar. This is same. Let's save that. Didn't I save it? So let's select this section. Where is the section? We are really zoomed in. So I'm going to bring this zoom it a little bit out. We don't need this much real estate in VS Code, but we do need it in the browser. I think this is better. So let's bring this up. So you can see that we have 15 pixels, which is like, I think, light brown color. I'm not really sure. Uh, on the top, we have 15 pixels. You can provide margin on the right as well. So margin, oops. For that, you're going to say margin right. Let's set it to 20 pixels. Let's save that. And now we can see on the right, we have uh, 20 pixels. The reason that the margin is appearing far to the right is because section is a block level element. That's why it is taking everything, all the space in front of it, even though it doesn't need it. That's why margin appears right outside the content. So when it is blocked, the content is going to take up the entire space in front of it. So margin says, okay, it has taken all the space. I should appear right after this, the content's size. That's why it appears there. We can say margin bottom. Let's set it to 25 pixels. And you can see we have margin bottom 25 pixels. And finally, we can have margin left 30 pixels. And you can see we have margin left 30 pixels. So this is a representation of the box model. Now, instead of writing all these margins separately, there is a shorthand as well. So I'm going to say section margin. Now within this, the first value and the order, I gave you the order. The order is going to be like this. So we have top. So the first value is going to be top. I'm going to set it to um 15 pixels just 15 pixels the other the next value is going to be right so we are moving in clockwise direction which is 20 pixels then we are in the bottom 25 pixels then we are on the on the left 30 pixels so let's save it everything works the same way so we have 15 20 25 and 30. with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one